Hey babes in bookland, this is a Friday Reads. I wanted to catch you guys up on some books that I've been reading for the month of April. I've started this month out pretty well, I think, as far as the amount that I've been reading and the things that I've been reading have been great. The first book I'm hoping to finish this weekend is Goodbye Vitamin by Rachel Kong. This was released in 2017 and was met with a lot of acclaim and a lot of uh, excitement. And so far I'm really enjoying it. I'm almost done about 60% of the way through, um, but this centers around a character named Ruth who recently separated from her fiance, has come home to help her mother with her father who is suffering from Alzheimer's. He was a very esteemed professor and so this has been kind of a huge adjustment for uh, her family. This is told through a series of diary entries or journal entries but is also being bolstered by um, a diary or journal that her father was keeping about things that she said or things that she did in a day and so it's very emotional. It's very kind of like uh, sweet and not necessarily heartbreaking, but there's there's a realism and there's a very realistic approach to the way that this is being told. It's not just all tragedy and we're losing this person slowly that we thought we knew, but um, it's being approached in a very kind of rational way, which I appreciate a lot. Um, but yeah, that's something that I've been enjoying. I've been kind of slowly trying to work through the tournament of books um, list this year. And so that was one of the things that I was able to pick up from the library. So I'll let you guys know how that finishes up. Another book that I have um, that I've been working on is In Every Moment We Are Still Alive by Tom Malmquist. This was a book that was released, I believe, at the end of January or beginning of February. I've had this for about a month now and have been really, really trying to get to it. I'm about 50 pages into it right now, but enjoying it. Um, this is about Tom, the author's experience um, with his wife who contracted leukemia very acutely, very suddenly. And his experience, um, she was, I think seven or eight months pregnant with her child, uh, their daughter, when she got very, very sick and ended up having to be hospitalized. And no spoilers, this is on the jacket. She eventually dies. And all the while, Tom's father is becoming very ill as well. And so it's, it's a lot of series of tragedies that he's being met with, um, all while having to raise his infant daughter by himself. So this is something that, again, I'll tell you guys more about it when I get into, but enjoying it so far, and I'll definitely be talking more about this. You'll hear about the conclusion. Uh, the next book I'm going to be reading is A Wrinkle in Time by Madeline Lingell. Um, I'm reading this for my real life book club. There was a vote taken, and this is the one that they decided on. Um, so. It'll be okay. I think that, uh, you know, because of the, the hype of the movie and just people getting invested in this story again, that it was something, I think, um, coming off of uh, the luminaries, people were just kind of interested in reading something a little bit lighter and short. So this is, this is cool. This will do it. Um, but... I don't know that I'll talk much about that later in the month. I think we'll just kind of count me as one of the people who's read it recently. Um, this was beyond my time as a child. I didn't read this as a child. So I think it'll be cool coming to it for the first time. Um, I'm trying not to be <laughs> judgment laden with this book, but it's it's fine. It'll be great. It'll, it'll be a fun read. Um, and something else, I had the opportunity to see Mohsen Hamid speak earlier this week at my university. And it was really lovely to just hear an author talk about his work and talk about the process of creating this work. Um, I don't know that there were any real new insights provided to me about Exit West, but um, I've 
had his book for a really long time. Uh, I think I got this last November, possibly last October, and just haven't had a chance to read it. So um, it was really nice to just hear him talk about it and have him be present in our city, which does not get a lot of huge authors visiting here with any degree of regularity. So to have somebody of Mohsen Hamid's status kind of come through and and do a talk here was something really special. So um, I got this signed, which was nice. And then I also picked up a copy of Moth Smoke, which I didn't know anything about. Um, Mohsen Hamid was not a author that was on my radar really uh, before the end of last year. So to be able to read some of his earlier work and make some comparisons or some contrasts, you know, I know there's been kind of a lot of love-hate relationship with Exit West, but um, I figured because I've seen him speak now that it might be an appropriate time to read something of his. But yeah, so those are the books that I have for the weekend. Um, I'm sure I'll get to either finishing these or at least starting half of, more than half of them by um, the weekend, but let me know what you guys think about any of these books, if you have any thoughts on them, if there's something you want to share about them, if you love them, if you hate them. Um, I'm always open to hear suggestions for other things kind of similar to that as well. But uh, yeah, so that is my Friday Reads, and I will see you guys later. I hope you all have a good weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.